This is the digital music trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, an interview with Omniphone. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by MusicGraph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out MusicGraph.com or developer.musicgraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest uh, 2014 and it's a real pleasure to be here with uh, Jeff Hughes, uh, the CEO of Omniphone. So hi Jeff and thanks for joining me, how's it going? Really good, thanks for having me. And of course, full disclosure, uh, Omniphone are co-sponsoring my coverage of, uh, coverage of South by Southwest 2014. Thanks a lot guys, it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, really important to get uh, this kind of sponsorships uh, together with uh, Senzari for covering this month's, uh, uh, you know, uh, this month and, and uh, the coverage here at South by Southwest. But uh, let's talk about Omniphone and uh, so the company has been doing a lot of stuff lately. So, uh, you know, you uh, one of the key areas of expansion is uh, the international front. So, uh, first up, uh, tell me a little bit more about your plans on that front. Uh, I know that there's uh, so India is in your sights, and you have a, a, a lot of different areas of expansion there. Well, yeah, Omniphone has, from its inception, been a global company, and so our very first services that we la we launched were live in 19 or 20 territories. We're currently in um, 33 territories around the world with our partners. We're a B2B, so obviously we go where our partners want us to go. Um, we believe and have believed from the beginning that in order to have a compelling music service um, in a territory, um, in, a, in, a, in a local territory, you need a lot of deep local catalog, but you also need the global catalog because people want both. And so what we're seeing now is those bets paying off. Um, we We've seen a huge increase in, in uh, streaming uh, streams outside of you know the main music markets that everybody talks about, um, and we will continue to expand. Um, there's two ways that we go. We we either follow a partner in. We recently launched in Indonesia with uh, one of our partners, Guevara, a uh, really great company that's grown fast. Uh, we have plans in, that aren't announced yet in a few more of, of, of the countries in that region, um, and we will um, also look at some of the larger territories. We don't specifically have a need for um, one of our partners, but we know that with our ability to ingest content um, and get a deep local catalog that's clean, which is something that a lot of people really struggle with. Um, if we do it, there'll be plenty of people that are interested in it. That's awesome. So, looking at uh, the um, you know the word of the day here at South by Southwest this week has been APIs, APIs, APIs. And so, uh, you know, what kind of access do you provide uh, to to Omniphone's API, and uh, and what kind of partners are you looking for? You know, is it limited to large companies, or do you also have uh, smaller partners? I think in the past, Omniphone, uh, we, we started out as a, as a company that focused on large global um, companies. And we found, it doesn't sound like much of a niche, but it was a niche because no one else could do it. Um, having uh, the, the sort of... Uh, contacts in the catalogs that we have in local territories, as I said before, um, and being able to handle the um, the sort of atomized rights issues that come that that come with a global service really set us apart. Um, however, we have in the last few years um, started looking at um, servicing smaller companies, making a smaller suite of our API functions. We have about 275, but making the ones that everybody needs more available to smaller companies. It's not open, uh, but we are exploring um, with some of our partners uh, getting some developer access onto the onto the uh, API as well. Yeah, sure. Uh, you were talking about international catalog. I mean, that's actually a big area of focus for me. Uh, my panel yesterday was uh, about, uh, uh, you know, international, uh, local approaches to international markets. So a lot of services are launching in uh, many, many countries, but they don't have the local catalog. So how do you approach a problem and, and how hard is it to have people on the ground that actually do the deals? Well, I think it's a really good point you make. I mean, it's easy to get a global deal with a few big, big major record labels or even some of the big independent aggregators. Um, and that gives you coverage for the globe, but you're not truly able to launch a service unless you have a local catalog. And I think what we found is that depending on the territory, they're all different. Um, you know, the the the, the local independent. Um, providers of music have varying degrees of capability that's technical and what we've done is we've gone in we've met with them we give them our our specs we work with them make sure they understand all the different dimensions of a streaming service which is infinitely more complex than um, than an a la carte service because you have to you have to handle a, a subscriber and what they do constantly so it's not a buy and forget and so We've, we put people on the ground whenever we go into a new territory, we work with the labels and then we ingest, we apply the metadata and once we have good metadata in the local language, we're able to power recommendations engines and things like that. So yeah. um, our approach that's is- That's a key issue actually, a recommendation in local territories where the big data companies might not have had the time to actually go yet. 
Yeah, but I think most of the big data companies have information about just about every song. Yeah. I think you just need to f you, you need to make it relevant in the local um, territory. So not every territory is the same, and not a, not all use cases are the same. And it's a big it's a big challenge. And I think the reason why, you know, when we say we're live in 33 countries, we mean really live. I mean we could easily with our partners go into 200 territories, but we we with our partners believe that you need to have that local catalog with the global catalog. You'll find some services um, that are regional that don't have the global catalog. They only have local. And we found through you know years and years of experience that true success will come when you have everything that someone might want to listen to on the service, which means yeah. both local and global. And when it comes to streaming, uh, people are uh, really looking very hard at uh, the, the opportunity of having different pricing models that are not the standard, you know, X amount per month uh, or maybe are lower and a limited am amount of user. Uh, and, uh, you know, in the UK, we're starting to see some experiments uh, around that, but it's even more relevant for international territories where disposable incomes may be lower or there may be different needs for different uh, demographics as well. So, so do you see services uh, toying around with the idea of uh, going uh, beyond the you know ten dollar ten pound a month model. Yeah, I think I think across the world you're starting to see people explore all different types of business models, and I think you know one of the things that OmniFund has done is we've kind of we've kind of set our platform up, and we like to talk about the functions as Legos, and you can build your house however you want. And what that means is currently we support every kind of model that's out there, but that's not to say every kind of model that someone might have, might have want to invent. And as you say, in some of the in some of the um, uh, 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 of the smaller territories, we have we are seeing things like daily and weekly billing instead of monthly billing. Um, I think the the bundle, the hard bundle, and the soft bundle is um, obscuring the price from the end user. It doesn't necessarily change it, but you know it comes with huge volume um, and therefore volume usually drives discounts. So I think you know you're gonna see a lot of people I mean this, this is because I live and breathe music, you live and breathe music, you know we all like to think that everybody does streaming, but actually it's a very nascent market and it's growing very yeah. very fast now and I think it hasn't it, the, 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 the commercial model that works hasn't played itself out completely yet. I think there'll always be the sort of ten dollar unlimited subscriptions out there the price may come down, it may go up. Um, but I think what you're going to see is more and more clever business models and music used in places that it's not currently used. Yeah, and of course, you know, I, I had the CEO of uh, Angami, which is a Middle Eastern uh, streaming company yesterday on the panel, and he was talking about the fact that uh, never mind discovery, our main challenge is to get people to understand what streaming is because it's not a, you know, a very well-known process yet in, in, in a lot of territories. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. And, and what we see when, you know, we watch people use the services that our partners power in all the different countries and we see people really fall in love with it when they get it and, and usually it's it's interesting the first hour they spend trying to stump it and find something that's not on there um, but you know once once you get once you get used to the idea that owning access to everything is as good or better than owning something one little thing and that you don't need to necessarily have all the tracks on your hard drive when you have access to them through the cloud on any device people really get hooked on it pretty fast I think the I think the thing that'll really drive it home for people in just about every territory is more in-home use and in some of the bigger markets more in-car use yeah and that's gonna be an important area of expansion. We're seeing lots of companies uh, push into that space, whether they're ready or not, <laughs> Just, uh, trying to make a mark in that. And so I, are you also looking at uh, uh, partnerships uh, uh, on that front with companies that are operating in, in, in the other home or car area? Well, I think most of our partners are working in the home because the the, sure. the, the services work across PCs and smart TVs. Um, you know, things like Sonos, you know, if you're going to go and, and, and put something like that in your house, then you want to have whatever you want to have when you want to have it. Yeah. So I think that's starting to move pretty quickly, but I think we need to get people using it because once you use it, you really start to appreciate it. Um, in the car, um, you know, we're partners with uh, SiriusXM who are clearly uh, very, very big in the car. It's a great company doing great things. Um, one of our other partners, Rara, has a deal with uh, BMW which is in the car in Europe um, a very small company but they're doing some pretty interesting things um, and and you know we work with Sony Music Unlimited or Sony Unlimited um, and that is a you know that's a great service and clearly they're exploring you know they have a service that works on every kind of device you can imagine and clearly they're gonna want to explore where people are listening to music and make sure they're there Awesome. So, uh, looking forward to the next uh, sort of uh, 12 months for the company what are the things that are really exciting you and getting you up in the morning well, I think uh, I think you know, given given that we're we we seem to have quite a lead in the music space, we're going to continue to focus on music. It's not to say we won't we won't explore other types of content because you know, at the end of the day, we have a platform that is able to distribute content around the world in a way that's pretty efficient. Um, 
but we're going to focus on music. We, we, we will continue to pursue large global companies that want to move into the space because they really don't have a choice other than to do it themselves or work with us. So, and, and some of them will choose to do it themselves and we understand that. And that's really one of the things that's really got me excited is we've realized that in, in building an end-to-end -end platform for our current partners, we've had to do everything that you might want to do if you wanted to launch a subscription-based music service. Everything from helping partners get licensing to using the actual platform to content distribution and ingestion. And we're seeing that some of the parties that may never have made the binary decision, I want to work with Omniphone and I'm going to give you my whole platform, are coming to us and saying, look, you know, you've got the content in Malaysia, or you've got the content in Indonesia, or you've got the content in Japan. Um, I could go get it, but it's going to take me a while. Uh, why don't you provide it to us? So I think there's 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 shards of the services that we've always typically offered end to end that we're now shaving off and offering to companies that we wouldn't have talked to before. And um, I think I think you'll see some of that happen, and it gives us relationships with some of the biggest companies in the world. And we, you know, being an arrogant small company, uh, think we're pretty good at what we do. And once we have that relationship, uh, you know, we think it'll grow over time. So I think you'll see more of the same. But in addition to that, we'll have people that come onto the platform just using one or two of our services rather than the end-to-end, -end. Um, but we're not going to take our eye off the ball. We know we're ahead and we have scale yeah. on the B2B side, so we're going to continue to focus on that, make sure that if a big company is thinking about launching a music service, they at least come and talk to us, and that's really what we want to want to achieve. That's great. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much uh, for having me. Uh, go and check out Omniphone.com, and of course, if you are uh, watching a bunch of the, the coverage that I'm doing here at South by Southwest or through the month of March, you're probably going to dream of their logo in your sleep uh, or <laughs> hear my voice mention them in your sleep, so uh, I hope that uh, you go and check them out. Uh, thanks uh, so much for your time and Thank thanks you. for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find out everything on digitalmusictrends.com or youtube.com slash digitalmusictrends.